computer internet, it's Dami. I'm just kind of getting cozy right here because I'm just going to talk straight to you, not going to do any fluff or anything. So I just wanted to talk to you real quick about an app. I've been testing it out and I, I really, really like it. So I wanted to share it with you guys and kind of share some insights on it. So you might have heard of it. It's called Vliz, V-L-I-Z. Essentially what Vliz is, is a micro-vlogging app. And if you don't know what micro-vlogging is, they explain it as a combination of Snapchat and YouTube. It's like creating a vlog in real time with Snapchat or Instagram story functionalities. You can really, really actually turn it into a decently edited vlog. You can put music in the background, you, they give you sound effects, you can trim things. This is what the screen looks like when you go to film something. Hey, it's me, hi. And there's the standard mode. There's a hands-free mode. There's a burst mode. Burst mode is probably one of my favorite little features of it. It's one of those things where you can film, stop, and then continue filming again. But it actually works really well when you're trying to just film a bunch of things in succession. You can like, you know, film yourself picking up a bag, film yourself heading out the door, film yourself turning a key, you know. It's a cool little transition effect. On the topic of transitions, there's also a time-lapse feature, of course. My one issue with the time-lapse feature, the slowest it'll go is six times the speed, twice as fast, maybe four times as fast, but not six times as fast, that's a little much. There's also slow motion, obviously. But yeah, those are the basic shooting modes that you can use. Let's do an example. Let's just say I'm shooting a little bit around the room. Okay? Let's just say I'm shooting a little bit around the room. So it repeats it all back to you, kind of like Snapchat. There are a few options on the side here, so you can add a location. You can trim, so that's what the little scissors are. That's pretty self-explanatory. I'm gonna skip this third one for a bit because that's a little more complicated. And then you can add sound effects. That's what that is. Yeah, at the bottom here, see this little sign that says off? You click on it. I, that's the music I had chosen. You click on that and it gives you all these different musics you can choose from. Supposedly it's smart music. So like, it kind of detects when you're talking so it'll get lower automatically. I haven't really tested this out and I don't really know if it's true yet, but that's an interesting thought. The other kind of cool thing it does is that if you're, you know, filming one moment and you add the music to it, when you film the next moment, the music will automatically continue through it. So it's like one continuous story. It's all connected. So you, all your pieces are connected more like a vlog. That's where you see the vlog part coming in. Anyway, let me get back to this other thing. And I haven't actually played around with this yet. There's another third button here, which is this. So there's two parts of that. There's a, what's called Vliz Over and a Vliz Interrupt. So in a lot of ways, the Vliz Over is kind of like a screen and a screen. There's also Vliz Interrupt, so what it does is it pauses in the middle of whatever you were doing and then it puts another video in there, which I think would be pretty cool as well. Again, haven't tested that part out. So even though it is considered, you know, real-time vlogging, you can film things and then save them and use them later. You can also, once you've published them, move the different pieces around. So like if you film something and then film something after that, decided the one after that should go first, then you can move it. You can also delete parts, like all those little parts are little scenes and you can kind of edit as you go along. You can make your blues private, so just for you. You can send them to friends, so again like Snapchat, just send them to certain friends. Or you could make it public, which is like publishing to a story. The other great thing that I personally like about this is that they don't disappear after 24 hours. I, I, I do really like that, how you can you can look back at things that you filmed before. You can edit things, you can delete things, it really is like a video diary. And then of course, you can go and watch other people's stories and you can comment on them. I will say the comment part is really kind of obnoxious. I kind of wish there were a way to watch it and type, kind of like with YouTube where you can continue watching the video while you're looking at comments or something. The other thing that it really needs, I kind of wish there was a way to not just tap through, to be able to like fast forward through things or, or go back if you miss something. That I feel like is a, is a needed feature. There's also no way to share your profile on social media at least as far as I can tell. I mean, there's not a lot of people on here, so it's pretty easy to find each other. But yeah, that was just a little insight into this new Vliz micro-vlogging app. Come join me on Vliz. I'm at DomiCat. Not at DomiCats and Dogs this time. This time, I actually could get the DomiCat username because I'm one of the first, and I'm very, very excited about that. <sighs> I already just created a mini vlog today, and I also created a mini, like, short comedy thing, which you should check out 
because I think it's kind of funny for something I created in like five minutes. <laughs> Which is kind of cool about this app too, like I can just be like, I want to make this thing. And then just like piece by piece go and make it and then kind of edit it as I go along. Like that's kind of fun. And some people on here create some really kind of cool stuff. It needs some tweaking. But like, come join me and like help give feedback so we can make this app better and also be one of the first. You want to be one of the first to do things. There aren't really a lot of niches yet on this app. So if you got a good niche and you grab onto it, you could do really well on this app. Anyway, hope you liked that video. I'm not even going to bother promoting myself and saying subscribe and shit. Come join me on Blizz. We're going to have tons of fun. Alright, bye.